But dessert wines, they're coming from Europe. That's a lot of tariffs and fees for a bunch of restaurants that barely survived last year. Since we're local, we could be the only supplier. Your brilliant ideas cost too much. We could use the Grenache grapes towards the back of the vineyard. Makes for a fresh port. Dad, this would be dope. Between this and our new Merlot, we could jump our sales. I could do a posh PR campaign for it. We ain't got to spend money to make money. Our profits aren't there yet, Pop. If anything, we need to double down on a white. Maybe do a limited edition. We did that two years ago. And it worked. So let's do it again. We don't want to be some... Hello, ladies. How you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm getting my line together right now for you guys. And uh, uh, yes. oh. I, know, Yanni, Yanni, I know you don't drink, but uh, first, I mean, let me start with you, Davika. Like, which, what's, what's your, what's your wine of choice? Like, what is? I love red blends, and right now I'm sort of addicted. Should I say addicted to conundrum? <laughs> and I love Manny's blend. It's from Napa. It's a red blend, but you have to be a member of that. <laughs> I love okay. those blends. Anyway. Most wines from I like a lot of wine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, well, you were you were a journalist, so I want to talk about that. Like, like, how was it transferring? Like, like, giving, like, stopping the journalist dream and saying, like, I'm gonna go after the acting. Can you talk a little bit about that moment when you had the confidence to step out and say, like, I'm gonna do this? Oh, thank you for even asking that question. Um, I'll try to be really short, but. Um, I knew, like myself, I knew I wanted to be an actress. I was just too scared to pursue it. Mm. That was truly what it was. So I went to school for journalism and I thought, well, I'll be on TV and then I'll slide into acting. And that didn't, <laughs> I was like, that doesn't work like that. Journalism and acting are two different things. So when I realized my, my heart, I was, I was literally not happy doing what I was doing. I was like, you have to make a move. And then I moved out to LA. So I always kind of knew, but I was scared because acting is a, a definite, you know, yeah, and everybody yeah. tells you that. They're like, yeah, most people don't make it. So I had to block out those voices and just trust the process and go through, go for it. Thank you yeah. for asking that though. No, no, no problem. Yanni, as a guy, my, my, my mom's from Curacao, so we're almost neighbors. Yes! And, and uh, just looking at Letitia, what she's doing, Letitia Wright, Mason Richards is a great guy and he's director has the seawall. Um, how do you feel like representing like this small, it's not an island country, but it feels like an island country. A small country that has no business being Caribbean, but it is. <laughs> um, I, shout out to Ebony Noel. She's also Guyanese. Uh, we had a couple of us on set, which was really a cool. But for a lot of us on set, um, the head of wardrobe, Michelle Light is Guyanese. Uh, my makeup artist, Michelle was Guyanese. So there was a mm -hmm. few of us, plus just a general Westernian presence on set. So that coming into this was my very first time not being the only one, not being confused with Ghana, which is a country in Africa. Um, finally, people understanding what the culture is which was so cool, but it's it's great. I'm happy to represent. Um, I'm, I'm happy to you know, be a proud West Indian and, and be a proud Guyanese girl. Um, I, I think it's wonderful having this type of representation of the Caribbean within acting, within Hollywood and, mm -hmm. and, and showing more of us, you know, I think it's, I think it's really cool. Karen, uh, you, you, one of my, one of my old, favorite shows that people like that just kind of fell off the map nobody talks about playmakers is I, I remember you from playmakers and it was like well, it was like this secret I always said but y'all don't remember playmakers is like my best show and 24 of course and some other stuff um but uh but first first what is your what is your your favorite wine Karen um I I it's a very good question. I actually can't answer. My favorite wine is champagne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me read. How's the king's wine? I, I don't know. I, I love a cat, a big cat sap, something woody and oaky, and maybe someone throw me a pricey name around my neck. <laughs> 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 <Nice blend. laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking like $20 Justin, in, you know, and Gaylor and like that. That's a California wine. I think so. Shame on me. I'm so sorry. Yes, I like a good red and I love a sparkling wine. <laughs> I'll go sharpen that answer. 
<laughs> but going from those days of, of, of the soul fools and the, and the playmakers and the being this age where there's like, it feels like it's a golden age for content creators where we telling all these new stories. How does it feel as an actress to be here and have like all these options of stories that, that we're now telling? It feels amazing to be seen. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to be invited to the party in a real, real way now. Yes. You know, I always was just so happy to get a job, you know, right. and, and then a, a role like this coming up, I, it almost makes me feel like I had not no idea what I was capable of, but it's mm -hmm. certainly a blessing to be asked, can you rise to this? Here's some drama, drama, Here's some juicy, yes, mm -hmm. can serve you several layers of this, you know, lasagna, can you do it? So uh, it's, it's very exciting, very, very exciting right now. So happy to be here playing this role, this this layered, complex, complicated uh, character, and the whole family. The drama that we have is exciting, real, and to tell stories yeah. that that show that there's so much diversity in the African American community, mm -hmm. and so many black writers and directors and set people are starting to get so many other opportunities and be seen. Yeah. It is a really exciting time there are more opportunities and you go oh my gosh the playing field feel, feels very even or yeah. getting so yeah even something like this being interviewed and being asked these really in-depth questions that are not just surface questions so thank you for that first of all mm -hmm. but also it's a testament to where we are that there is so much out there that we get to dive in and be interested in each other's experiences and in these really juicy, cool stories, because it's not just the one black show. Mm -hmm. There is, you know, we we really get to kind of play and relax into in this time right now because it's it's thriving. Yeah, and, and, and your show talks a lot about uh, family wealth, and and it's one of the things that I hope as a community that we could get more into building like generational wealth and everything else. So, how do you feel about representing that and having this? family kind of dynasty that's the kings that has this this great product and this great business venture that's going on and building family wealth like do you think this is going to inspire some of our families that may be able to invest in something like a, a, a wine a venue and everything else to to, to think about that it gives you a sense of pride you know, I really feel a sense of pride being able to tell the story of these black vineyard owners you know Janine had said she wasn't aware when she was invited to, I think it was Tilford Winery. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, there isn't, a, I didn't know that there was black minion owners. Like the fact that we're here getting to tell the story that yes, here we are. I, I feel a real sense of pride and I hope it does inspire, inspire more people to take up the next um, line of business that they didn't think, I don't know, existed or was theirs so for them. Yeah. You know, it's sort of saying here, and this is what else we are. This is what else you can do. It reminds yeah. me of years ago, um, Whoopi Goldberg was talking about growing up and watching Star Trek and not seeing any Black people in Star mm -hmm. Trek. And she just thought, oh, I guess Black people won't exist in the future. And, <laughs> and you know, fast forward, she ends up being on the show and she mm -hmm. talks about what that representation is like and not seeing yourself in that space. Mm -hmm. You can't even fathom doing something like that. So now pivoting to our show, seeing Black wealthy family owning a vineyard could be someone that's watching that's like, I never even thought of that lane of access and that we opened up just the idea of it, mm -hmm. I think is important. Just even if you don't go buy a vineyard, just to have that idea of like, there's more opportunity out there than we realize that we have access to. And just seeing this is one example of that. And my last, my last question, I'm looking at three wonderful actresses that I wanna see more of. And we're right here on the 82nd, uh, 83rd Oscars. And there's only been one non-white woman to win a lead actress and that was Halle Berry 20 something 20 years ago um do you feel like our, our this time is coming with all these opportunities that that finally that somewhere in this mix that 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 we will recognize one of the beautiful black actresses one of the beautiful talented black actresses among your peers among yourselves that you think that we're going to change that by like, coming up soon I 
see that. I, I definitely think that that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I think that there will be a change in the business as far as I think that because of, because the people that make those those decisions, their dynamic is changing, and they're like, we have to open this up. And I do think the whole Black Lives Matter movement had so much to do with that because people started seeing injustice in a lot of other places that they weren't necessarily aware of. Like I'm part Indian and the Indian side of my family has really studied it. And they're the ones who when we're on a family check, they'll bring up stuff about, you know, injustice and racial problems, you know, how black people get discriminated against. Well, thank you women for your time. I, I actually, I, I love the show. I don't, I try not to say that in interviews, like, hey, I like this, because I try to be neutral for the ones I don't like, but <laughs> I, I, I really love the show, and I can't wait till the world gets to, like, see it and enjoy it with you guys, and I hope they start following you and that, that all the opportunities to come in the future for more seasons and other opportunities are, are coming you, you guys way. Happy holidays. Thanks for your time. Yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 What is that? <laughs>